send an email with some information about our website because I updated it this weekend. So we have a few new things. Uh, so right away, if you go onto the website and you click this play button, you'll hear our students performing one of our full orchestra pieces from last year, Eagles Among Us. They did a really awesome job last year, so we're hoping to continue that this year with our new full orchestra music. Uh, the biggest change is really under this tab. So under the 23-24 season, I've consolidated all of the information that pertains to your student by their orchestra ensemble. So if your student is in beginning orchestra, instead of having to go to another tab to access permission slips and fees, now you just go here. So it's gonna have the newsletter that only pertains to the students in this orchestra. Uh, it's gonna be categorized by grades, rehearsals, concerts, and reminders. So of course they have a double major grade this week, which is their winter concert to be uh, in compliance with the Fort Bend ISD grading policy for orchestra. And then we have information here. So when I click this tab or this link, it's gonna bring you to a PDF I created that has all of the information. So you would read through the beginning orchestra information and lets you know that your kid's staying after school, they're getting a pizza dinner, um, what they need to wear and all of those types of uh, logistical information. Um, also, this is what they see in class every day. So as your students walk in, they have a two minute timer and that starts their bell ringers so that we can make sure we're staying on task. And this is what they're gonna be working on in class on Monday. So we don't assign the practice homework until we experience class. Uh, so for example, last week on Thursday in our rehearsal, the Fifth Avenue Rock Pizzicato section was really rushing. So it was going too fast and the orchestra was not staying together. Um, so if this goes well on Monday and the rushing is controlled, then we don't necessarily need to assign that for homework. Uh, maybe we play another section and our F sharps are out of tune. So then we would know we need to assign that. And we um, have students take ownership over their learning by deciding what did not go well in rehearsal? Um, did we identify the problem and prescribe solutions? Did we try those practice solutions in class so that we understand what they are? Yes, then we assign that for homework and then it comes back better the next day. Most of the time our practicing is not for our extremely smart brain, but for our muscles that just need the repetition of doing something correctly. Also in here, you can see that you have those links that are specific to this orchestra. So if I click permission slips, it's just gonna scroll me down to the bottom of this same page. So the beginning orchestra is going to string playing and most of us have already completed this permission slip, but all the information is there for you to easily access on your phone so you know where your student is and what their day looks like when they're off campus with me. Uh, so we have the same exact thing for Philharmonic Orchestra. You can see what we're doing in class tomorrow. Um, as well as symphony orchestra. You can see what we're doing in class tomorrow. And then this full orchestra is for our students that are in fourth and fifth period orchestra. So when I click here, you can see it's a super busy week for them. They have sectionals. Um, and then you can also see that we're doing a combined rehearsal during their fourth period class. So combined rehearsal for full orchestra would mean strings, winds, and percussion. So students already know, hey, on Tuesday, I need to immediately report to the band hall if I'm in this group. And if not, then I go to the, uh, one of the other ensemble rooms to work on the string UIL music. We also have an after school rehearsal on Wednesday and we have our 7 a.m. super awesome Friday morning rehearsal, hopefully preparing your eighth graders for high school times next year. Oh. UIL is almost here. Make sure your kiddos are practicing their full orchestra music daily. And if your student was like me, I did not come from a musical family. I just decided to join orchestra and nobody in my family played an instrument. So you might not be able to tell your student, oh, these are the notes you need to work on in your D minor melodic, D melodic minor scale. But you can say, hey, you're playing March of the Scaffold Measure 28 to 40 in rehearsal. Let me hear you play that. Tell me what you're struggling with and how you're going to practice to fix it. And just being involved in their practice in that way is I think extremely beneficial. Um, they'll be able to tell you what doesn't sound right and how to fix it. And just to let your kid practice for you I think is really awesome. 
Um, you can also see what they're going to be working on in sectionals, like this section of March to the Scaffold. As your kids know, we really need to make sure we can play it. Uh, the permission slip for our upcoming concert will be posted at least two weeks before um, the event itself. And the date, of course, has already been on our calendar since May of last school year. Um, so on all of the pages, too, you'll click the calendar link, which brings you to the calendar for the entire school year. Um, I also went ahead and added the actual sectionals to the calendar, um, and you can add it to your personal calendar. Again, the event always starts with which group of students it pertains to, so full orchestra. That's not our beginners. Um, they know that they have the gold violins have a sectional on Tuesday morning, which is their usual, usual sectional time. You can just add all those events to our calendar. Uh, next, Booster Club tab, which we had before, but we've updated it to add our awesome board members that do so much to help me and make my life easier. Um, also, the announcement page, just a reminder that anytime they send me something, it's going to get uploaded here. Uh, we have the date that it was uploaded, and it, usually they also send me a PDF with some more information. So if you just click that, it will open up uh, the flyer with some QR codes and some more information. The other page we have that's new is called More Ways to Play. Uh, so keep your skills sharp. What do we do over the summer? Because if we put our instrument down for two months, we are going to come back not the same way that we left off in May. Uh, I encourage your students throughout the school year to take private lessons, which is one-on-one -on -one instruction with incredible teachers. I am still looking for teachers that uh, are able to come and teach in the Siena area. Houston Youth Symphony, Mr. Isidore is one of the conductors. Uh, Gavin performs with them. They play extremely rigorous repertoire, high school level and beyond. Um, and they rehearse every Sunday. That's an audition-based uh, organization. They have five orchestras now, I believe. American Festival for the Arts, we'll talk about in a second. Fort Bend ISD Summer Orchestra Camp. And then Mr. Gurgai started a Fort Bend ISD cello choir. Uh, Sophie plays in this, and it's a great opportunity for all of our cellists to get better at uh, cello technique and pedagogy. So American Festival for the Arts, AFA, uh, offers chamber music throughout the school year. Um, they also have several summer music camps. Um, and what I'm really excited about is that our school specifically had so much success with the full orchestra program in such a short time. This is only our third year doing it. In our first year, your kids ranked fifth in the entire state of Texas. They worked their tails off, they practiced, they came to all of the 7 a.m. rehearsals. Not only our string players, but our winds and percussionists. And so because of how much positive energy and information went out about our school achieving these things and having the parent support and the kids waking up at 7 a.m. and you waking up at like 6 a.m. with your kid to drive them to an early morning rehearsal, um, AFA heard about this and they, we inspired them to start a full orchestra at the middle school uh, session. Uh, they always had one at the high school session, but for the first time ever, AFA Summer Music Festival Orchestra and Chamber Music Workshop for middle school kiddos. So I'll be coaching the viola section for the full orchestra. I'll also be a chamber music coach. And the most exciting part is that Mr. Finellis is going to be one of the conductors um, for this full orchestra. So I really hope to see you there and to start this legacy of AFA Middle School Session Full Orchestra. Uh, so please join. Um, if you ever have any more feedback about our website or a way that I can make your life easier having multiple kids and seven teachers and dealing with all this information. Uh, but I'm hopeful that putting everything under a tab by your kids ensemble will make your life a little bit easier. If you have any questions, just let me know.